I have a new Enema vlog for you right now, and it's a very special one because I have a very special guest. I had a visitor this week, and my, my me. <laughs> Hi, Lon. This is Lonnie. She came to visit me all the way from New York. Oh fuck, wait. and Dewey too. She has a very dirty mouth with all the f bombs. So you're warned. That's gonna happen in this episode. And it's fine, or at least I think it's fine. So if you're not fine with it, you shouldn't watch this one. We're, we're gonna have some fun and we got a fun activity that Dewey's not allowed to be a part of. <laughs> so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna talk a little bit because we both love movies and obviously we both grew up together. And I think there's a lot of crossover between what we like and what we were seeing when we were younger. And to spice it up a little bit, we're bringing back one of our teenage activities. I think it's when we were teenagers. It's for bat mitzvahs. Yeah, it, it was a lot of bat mitzvah <laughs> gifts. So we're gonna make memory bottles. And what that could be is you take a glass bottle and you either fill it with water or they were called memory bottles because you used to put pictures and like little trinkets in there. And then you seal it up real tight and then you take crayons and then you burn the crayons and they drip all over the bottle. So. That's why Dewey's not allowed to play with us today. I knew he was gonna jump. I know, I know. We're gonna have to be on Dewey alert the entire time. So let's do the, the, the food color okay. first. So I think I'm gonna go with the green. Do you want the green or a different color? I would like we the have a blue. variety here. The blue. <laughs> Probably should be reading the instructions on the box about how much food coloring to put in here, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go for it. Let's I'm gonna just happens. copy you. Ready? That's a lot, Lon. We just poured like almost an entire, poured almost the entire bottle in there. I wanted dark blue. Make sure you seal that. I could just see you shaking it and then blue dye going all over my apartment. Oh, yours is pretty green. Ooh. All right, I'm off to a good start. That is a very, it's, it's black, a very, I very think. dark blue. I guess that's what happens when you when you put that much dye yeah, in it. Yeah, but if I mix red with it, it will all be right. purple. Oh, do you want to try yeah. to mix? Let's see what happens. I have a feeling this is not gonna make any difference. Oh shit, it almost splattered. Don't let it splatter. <laughs> this is like the perfect uh, window into our relationship where I'm like neat, clean, organized to the max and can I call you a little more free spirited? I'm just messy. Oh, well you'll just go <laughs> for it. Yeah, so you're messy. <laughs> But we did manage to live together for a while. I think I made it. Here's some spider. <laughs> I'm gonna do pink. Okay. I'm going, with, I'm going with yellow. So before you burn your crayons, if you try this, you must, oh God, this is gonna take forever. Yeah. You gotta pick the paper off. You might have to peel mine. <laughs> I'm trying to find like. Like a spot. How far did you get? When did they get so good at gluing the paper on crayons? I feel like this used to peel off so quick and easy. Maybe we should just do one color on the bottle. And just you, I'll use the yellow and you use the pink. Well, I'm gonna use a, a select few. You're, you're not lighting the whole, like we don't have to light the part no, where the paper but, starts. No, but I think it's dangerous if there's paper on it and it catches. All right, while, while we're peeling, what is the first family movie going experience you remember? Like going to the theater as a family to see a movie. I remember going to see Jurassic Park. And I, I had, approve of that answer. And I had to walk out of the theater with dad when um, that nasty looking dinosaur who goes like this. It's I love it. Yeah, it's that one. So I got so scared. So I walked out of the theater and I think I saw it a second time because I wouldn't go back in. This I, is so frustrating. I think I'm beating you. I didn't want to say something so I felt I love how this. I love how this has become a race. <laughs> but I think I'm We're also pretty you. competitive too. When we were little, you remember Nana and Poppy got us those TVs that mom and dad still have in the house now with the yeah. VHS player built into it. Yeah. So the two of us used to fall asleep with a VHS tape in that VHS player pretty much every single night. What VHS tape was in your player? Ace Ventura. The most? Okay. I watched Ace Ventura <laughs> every single say. night and I laughed at every single scene. Did you ever switch it out? What, what came next? Monkey Trouble. Oh, remember? God. That movie, remember Monkey, Monkey Trouble. Trouble. I loved Monkey. I won. Oh. I'm done. All right. Do you remember the first horror movie you saw? Scream. Because you, you watch horror you guys... movies with me all the time. I remember when we used to watch Scream. That 
I used to do this with horror movies, that I had to finish the horror movie because that's like when I felt like the killer wasn't really out there in real life. But if we never watched the whole movie through, I felt like, you know what I mean? Like it was a superstition? Like yeah, if you yeah, didn't yeah. finish like a horror movie, a, the killer was gonna kill you? Like we had to watch it. Like in the first scream when Billy and I kinda What's like his face that. die. <laughs> That's like a great concept for, for some sort of supernatural horror movie demon that if you don't finish it, it comes to Then it's you. really out there. <laughs> so somehow I'm bleeding. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I don't know if it's the dye. It's probably the red dye, because I see, it's the red dye, because I see the red dye on your plate too. You sure? You're not, you're not bleeding. <laughs> it kind of hurts though. Are you kidding? Patience. Oh yeah. Here we go. Did you ever think it was weird that I loved horror movies so much or did you? No, because I like them too, but I cover yeah. my eyes in them. I peek through my hands. What's the what's the scariest horror movie you've ever seen? Um, I need to think. Oh fuck that's oh. hot. <laughs> <laughs> Someone doesn't know how to use fire. <laughs> You know what I thought was really scary? Tell me. That movie, it was the remake with Sophia Birch. So, not Sophia Birch, Sophia Bush. And like Haas. The Hitcher? The Hitcher, I thought it was so fucking scary. The Hitcher's not very scary. I thought it was very scary how they like tied the boyfriend to the truck at and the then end and then they rip him apart. I mean, that's a, a very unsettling visual. I, I don't know if that scary. one, that one's the scariest one I've ever seen though. And I found the strange Strangers? The stranger, yeah, yeah. I thought that was scary. Look, look, this is this is it. I've got the crayon peeling down. Okay, I have totally fucking figured this out, and I'm so proud of myself. Why are you still doing yellow? You'll see. What's the best movie you saw in 2017? You like Titania, right? I didn't see it. I only saw the first 20 oh. minutes of it. Oh well then. Why? Oh, I know why. Because every time we put on a really good movie that she really wants to watch, she falls asleep in five minutes. It's the head tilt. If I sit up on the couch like perfectly straight, I don't fall asleep. But as soon as my head... If I ask you right now what your favorite movie of all time is, do you have an instant answer? Do you know what it is? I'm thinking. You know what my favorite movie of all time is, Jurassic right? Park. Why did you ask that like a question? I just wanted to be sure. What's my second favorite movie of all time? The Poltergeist? Really? Money is what is what is Dewey named after? Oh, Scream. But there you go. You know what? I loved Mean Girls. <laughs> <laughs> is that your favorite movie of all time? No. I think you enjoy watching it. I just love watching the most. It. Like, that's probably the movie you watch most frequently. And it's always on. And Bridesmaids is always on. Yeah, Bridesmaids is on all the time. Bridesmaids is the first Mondo poster I ever bought. Can I leave this little piece of paper on, like, what's the chances that something's gonna happen? <sighs> Look at that! That is the new crayon peeling record. Crap. Mine's really hot now, too. All right, serious question. What do you love so much about movies? Like, when you sit down to watch a movie, what, what makes you well, so happy? I like happy? going to the theater, and I like buying candy. What kind of candy do you buy? Sometimes I've been eating Sour Patch more, but when I was younger, <laughs> you remember what I used to do? Oh, I, I used remember to, what you used to do. I used to buy a bag of cop popcorn and then put raisinets in it, and then the raisinets would melt. But then every time after the movie ended, I would walk out of the theater with chocolate like all over my pants. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and all over the seat, like it melted all over me. That's a very, okay, that's, that's very that's accurate. That's what happened. The thing that I will add to that story is that before you would put the raisinets in the popcorn and before you would even put your butt in a seat, you would inspect every single oh, seat. Yeah, and yeah, if yeah. there was like schmutz on the seat, you wouldn't sit in it, but then you would be the one to leave the raisinette schmutz for someone else. I still do that though. I, know I can't you do. sit in the seat until I, I hate when people put gum or leave their popcorn in the seat. <gasps> oh, this crayon, I can't. I'm trying to figure what you're trying to make. Is it to match your shirt? No, no, but you're getting it. You're getting it. Tell everybody about your dog. Nala. Your, your dog has a movie name. She's named after the Lion King, Nala. She's a Whedon Terrier. She's the cutest little doggy ever. She smiles. She smiles, she head tilts. Have you ever learned anything from a movie? 
Like whether it's really important or just something really simple, like a movie about school that made you do something differently in school. So Georgia Rule. No. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> I, I, I want you to give your honest teach answer. Me anything. Um, I have to think of. What did you learn from Billy Madison? That it's okay to be silly and <laughs> not take life seriously. Um, <laughs> Um, and that you shouldn't eat glue. Right? <laughs> that's, a, that's a good lesson. You shouldn't eat Elmer's glue. Well, you haven't seen Call Me By Your Name either, right? No, I want to see that too. There's like just something towards the end of the movie that's just about, you know, embracing what you love and understanding that even if other people don't love what you love, it's special to be able to love something. So yeah. that's like a, I love how we went from eating glue to like a message about <laughs> love. All right, I think after I melt this crayon, that is going to be it for my masterpiece. I need to take a break. <laughs> I, think I don't, this is really I don't think hot. I can. I don't think I can peel any more crayons after this. Okay, here's a good question. So we lived together for a couple oh, no. of years. We have very different lifestyles and some different interests. Tell me one nice thing that you learned from me that you take to your own apartment now. Is there anything I taught you? I'm thinking. There's a lot. Not to steal other people's food when you're drunk. Oh yeah, that's a good thing. <laughs> Specifically um, peanuts. If yeah. someone goes that and buys a thing great to eat after thing a night of out. planters peanuts, you just don't eat them when you're drunk. Um, to clean up after myself more and not leave food and crumbs everywhere because you will get bugs <laughs> if you do that. I'm glad I taught you that. Um, to clean out my hairbrush. I feel like you're very good at cleaning out your hairbrush and flushing the hair down the toilet. <laughs> And I don't ever, what, I feel like mom no. was always big with that too. I'm very good at cl cleaning in general. Because when you don't that, that clean is, it. That is one thing that I like to keep clean. And when you don't clean it, your hairbrush gets really gross. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I mean, it looks like too. Jurassic Park colors. Yes! I said that though like yes! 20 minutes ago. It's the car. You said it oh. like my t-shirt. It's the fucking car. See? See? So mine just didn't really have a plan. Why am I not surprised? It's very pretty though with the bottom. I like the bottom tactic. The white's like kind of cool. It like turns different colors. So to wrap this up now, just like in a nutshell, what does entertainment just bring to your life, your daily life? Because I can tell you that I get really excited about the fact that I just love to sit there and kind of lose myself in movies and TV and tune out. But then on the flip side, I also really enjoy things like, you know, Call Me By Your Name and Shape of Water that make me rethink things or think things in a new way and just bring some added insight into my life, learn about somebody else's experience. There's so many, clearly, there's so many little things about <laughs> ditto, forms of entertainment. Say, <laughs> well then, yeah. I like movies because I like being distracted and not thinking about other stuff that I would think about in life. Okay. So I like. There you go. Oh, well, I'm really thankful that we had parents that let us watch whatever we wanted and just get exposed to things like that at an early age. Cause I'm pretty sure that the movies that I fell in love with as a kid significantly shaped me as a movie lover and to a degree as a person to this day. So yes. yours looks better. No, it doesn't. It's just, it's, it's just more organized. That's it. And that, Right here is a really good representation of who I am and who you are. I am I am neat and organized. You are free spirited and colorful and loving and wonderful. I'm so happy that you came to visit me. I'm so happy we're doing a video together. Of course. It is. I love you. Lyle. I left some crumbs for us to clean up after. Okay, I figured that would happen, so I was mentally prepared for that. <laughs> it's fine. So before we clean those crumbs, I want to thank you all out there for watching this video. Thank you to everybody watching. Thank you to everybody supporting on Patreon. Another thank you to my Lonzo for being here today. You're Thanks for best. having me. I will see you real soon with more Nemo Vlogs.